Watch you guys, got another video here for you. Now removing rootkits, malware and other nasty stuff from a system can be pretty daunting. So I've been making videos uh, of late of tools that you can use to remove malware and other nasty stuff from your system. Now today's uh, tool is going to be Sophos uh, Virus Removal Tool. It's another tool that you can download for free and it claims it removes rootkits, malware and all nasty uh, viruses from your system in, including Corn Flicker. So what we're going to do here is give this a blast. Now there is a rootkit and other stuff on this system. Um, I'll quickly show you with uh, TDSS Killer. Um, but there is some nasty infections on here and we'll see how um, Sophos uh, removal tool will uh, deal with these types of infections and whether it can actually remove everything from the system. Now no one program will remove every single infection but we'll see how well it does. Now we did F secure the other day and uh, I don't think that did as well as it should have done but we'll give this a blast now as you can see there is one threat on here and that is a rootkit. So what we're going to do is uh, you can see the rootkit there so I'm just going to skip this and ignore it and uh, let the um, Sophos uh, rem virus removal tool uh, do its job. So let's fire her up and give her a blast and see how she goes. Okay so it's just installing uh, some updates here so we'll just let that download them updates and then we'll run our scans. Okay, so that's been now updated and all we need to do now is hit the scan button and this will run some scans on our system. It's all, already found one item. So we'll let that run and uh, deal with uh, these infections. Okay, and what it's done now is it's found uh, an infection and it's now paused the scan and it wants us to remove these before we continue. And as you can see here, uh, it gives you a little nice list of all the infections and where the keys are like registry keys and uh, the file of that uh, virus is and it will show you all the details which I really do like and it gives you the name of it which is very useful and I think you can click on these as well and it will take you to that location on the internet to tell you what that virus is and what it does okay pretty nice little feature a really nice uh, add-on there so what we're going to do here is uh, clean this off and going to start clean up and it will remove these uh, from the system uh, to stop it spreading okay and then it will continue with its scan once it's removed these from the system this will help prevent in uh, spreading of uh, more nasty viruses on your system so it removes them as it goes okay it's now remove those from the system as you can see remove frets 4 or 4 and now it wants to continue uh, removing other threats. So I'm going to continue our scan. I really do like the way that works. It's a really nice little feature. Okay, so it's found another seven frets, and we can get our details. And you can see the uh, Sidox MBR, so it's found that. There's some other bits and pieces here. You can see zero access, it's found that as well. And, uh, and uh, remove those. Start the cleanup process. Okay, so we uh, can look at the log here. It's a uh, number of threats cleaned up, six of seven. So I'm not sure why it's not cleaned that last one. And it's that MBR one. Um, but you've got the log here, which you can submit as well. Okay, so now we've cleaned that up. What we're going to do here is I'm um, going to have a quick scan of, Of this to see whether it detected it or remove it let's have a look and we'll do a quick scan here and see if it's removed it from the system it's still on the system as you can see it's had trouble removing that and it's still there so we know the uh, root kit is still on the system so it hasn't dealt with that root kit very well um, so we can uh, remove this I'm going to cure this and uh, it needs to reboot, so I need to quickly reboot to get this off the system. Okay, so that's now back to the desktop. Just going to do another quick scan to see whether that's gone off our system. Now, sometimes rootkits can be very difficult to remove, so um, they're very difficult 
uh, to remove some of these now TDSS killer is designed just solely for that job is to remove root kits and that's the uh, scan complete nearly no no threats found so now we've uh, finished that there what we can do is quickly do a scan with Hitman Pro and Malwarebytes just to see what was left behind on the system if there's anything on the system and I'll run some scans for this right now and show the results and as you can see here there is quite a lot of uh, stuff on the system albeit they're in the same folder in the temp folder and they're just loads and loads of different types here you can see as they come down and what it's doing at the moment is just uploading these to the cloud and you can see there's quite a few more of them uh, dropped on the system so we'll let this do its thing and I'll come back when it's complete so I'm going to set these to delete rather than ignore all of these because they're suspicious so I know they're dodgy so they're going to get deleted and I'll change that to delete and as it's uploading them it's saying ignore but it's suspicious so we will delete all those as well so there's just a few left so I've set these to delete and uh, we'll go delete those as you can see here identified threats 24 so we're just going to quickly uh, remove those but there's quite a few here as you can see so we'll just quickly delete those and it wants to reboot so I'll quickly reboot reboot we just did another scan and you can see now there's no threats there so that's good so we'll do a quick scan with malwarebytes now just to make sure and then once we've done that we'll wrap the video up okay so we completed our scan with malwarebytes and uh, this is the free version and as you can see here it's found four more um, items here one registry key and three files and these are in the temp folder so let's remove those from the system now again I would still run other programs if I was disinfected um, but as you can see there there has been some uh, concerns with some stuff left behind now Sophos, um removal virus removal tool is a free download uh, but I think it still needs a bit of work on its um, rootkit removal capabilities and stuff like that. It does state here rootkit spyware viruses and stuff like that. And also you can see here um, what it does. It says with more than 100 million global users, um, it includes the same great security features available in its end user pro uh, protection solution. So... I think it still needs a bit of work done on the rootkit removal uh, capabilities because it did leave that on the system. But other than that, I think it didn't do too bad on the other sort of stuff really. There was a lot of the same sort of type of file, but there was all in the temp folder there. Okay, So you can make your own mind up what you think of it. Um, I'll leave that one up to you. So I'm going to wrap this video up. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos, then hit the... Uh, like button guys it really does help me out and also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date when i upload new videos so uh one last thing have a great weekend and i shall see you again in the next video i will be creating more videos with some other useful tools so we can sort of evaluate how good they are and which ones to use and which ones to steer clear of okay so if you've got any comments or any sort of messages down below of any videos you want to see then leave them down in the comment section and i'll do my best to uh, make those videos for you so thanks again thanks for your support bye for now